this is Danny from Deep South Homestead. As you can see here, we're taking in a piece of new ground that's never been planted before. And the ground is like concrete, so I'm having to literally take a flat breaking turn plow and turn the dirt over. We've uh, got a friend who's used a drone to come in and actually film me while I'm doing this. So I'm gonna let y'all sit here and watch Show you a little bit what it means to flat break a piece of ground. Once you flat break a piece of ground, you have to come in with a disc afterwards and kind of pulverize the ground because it leaves such big clods in it. This helps to uh, get the ground ready for your planter or your building up your rows. It kind of pulverizes it and any sticks or anything that's in it because there's a lot of roots in this ground. From those trees that's all around that we've severed with the turn plow, we're going to be disking it and then going back and picking up those roots up out of the dirt that's turned up so that we can um, you know, prevent, create a little bit better bed for planting. Here we've laid our rows off and we're going back with a hoe, hoeing up some holes in the ground. We're going to be planting our Creole tomatoes uh, in this particular row. We have already, um, as you can see here, we're taking time to get the tomatoes stuck down in the ground. We dug some deep holes because the tomatoes were kind of tall and leggy. Try to be real careful with them. Make sure that we get them in just right and don't damage them. Here we're starting to plant our squash seeds. Being this new ground, we didn't try to use a planter because there's so many little pieces of roots and stuff in there. We just want to do it by hand to make sure we get it done efficiently.
you can see here I've got Wanda using the new Hoss Cedar. We went through and completely picked up every little root that we could find. And I'm sitting here making sure that it's actually dropping the seeds because the ground is new. And we were just so exhausted we couldn't, we just figured using the cedar would be a little bit faster. And we just took the chance to see if, make sure it would put out seeds that it needed to. And it looked like it was, it wasn't stopping up too bad with little roots and sticks underneath it. So we decided to go ahead and finish out this garden with the cedar. We planted our green beans in containers over up by the house, but we not knowing how they were going to do, and this being one of our major crops, we decided to go ahead and do two rows of green beans here, uh, just as a precaution. see Wanda's having a little bit of trouble with the cedar and this new ground but today taking y'all on this journey this is how we get our gardens ready and new ground here at Deep South Homestead. Thank y'all for watching.